Natural stone, what makes it so beautiful? Color, variation, pattern, texture. Same thing holds true for stamped concrete. I always think perception and value. The perception of natural stone with all its beautiful color variations, the value of concrete. But what happens when color goes bad with stamped concrete? Well, there are methods of correction. Color correcting stamped concrete, the topic of today's segment. When it comes to stamped concrete, color variation, or color in general, is really one of the most critical factors. You can see on this natural piece of stone, we have high and low color variation, nice texture. That's really what makes the difference between a good job and a bad job. You can see in our stamped concrete piece here, there's very little color variation, and it doesn't look very real. This adds a lot of stress for the homeowner. Stephanie, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Chris. Stephanie is the homeowner here, so Stephanie, tell us exactly what happened. Well, we were interested in expanding our patio, and we decided to go with stamped concrete. Mm -hmm. We really liked the look of the natural Colorado flagstone. Right. So the one thing I said to the concrete guy was, I don't want it to look dirty. Right. I don't want it to look too dark and just dirty. And he suggested a dark red contrast. Sure. Well, as you can see, I didn't get any contrast at all. Right, it all right. It looks the same color. Yeah, it does. It's monotone. There's very little contrast. The good news is I brought some products with me that I think are going to solve the problem. The first step in any type of remedial or surface color treatment is making sure the concrete is clean and dry. Another obstacle with this patio is that it's been sealed. Chris. How do I know if my concrete's been sealed? Here's how you know. One, you physically see your contractor sealing your patio. Or two, you perform what's called a water test. A water test is nothing more than pouring some water on your concrete and noticing what happens. Does it bead up or does it saturate or wet out? In this case, it beads up. That's an indication that the patio has been sealed. If this were to soak in in less than three seconds, that would be an indication that the concrete is not sealed. When concrete isn't sealed, it's very porous. You have a lot of different options that can be used to do secondary coloring or what's known as remedial or topical highlighting. In this particular case, it has been sealed. That limits our options. We've completed our water test. We've determined the concrete is sealed, and that leads us to the next step. Which products are we gonna use? With recent advances in pigment technology, this type of secondary highlighting has actually become quite simple. First, we're going to be using a charcoal or a dark gray specialty solvent-based tint concentrate. This is the color. This is going to get added to our solvent, which in this case is a low solids solvent-based acrylic sealer. And third, well this is water, because I'm just getting thirsty. When you're mixing all the ingredients together, the important thing is to make sure that all that tint gets dispersed in solution. So once again, we've got our solvent-based tint, our solvent-based acrylic sealer, and we've got xylene to thin the whole system out to get the desired color. There's no way you're going to determine the color unless you actually physically put samples down. What we did is we mixed the tint with the solvent, this is my little handheld sprayer. I'm gonna do two colors. I'm gonna do a brown shade, and I'm gonna do a black or a charcoal shade. And then we're gonna determine which one works best. It's only been a few minutes, but both sides are dry. This is our black or our charcoal, and this is our brown. Um, dry time for these is gonna be anywhere from uh, two or three minutes up to maybe uh, 10 at the most. Uh, and at that point, you're good to basically uh, walk on it. It's tack free. Stephanie, we finished with our samples. I wanted to bring you out here and show you what we did. On this side, we have black or charcoal. 
and on this side we have light brown. As you can see, both are translucent, you can see through them. So of the two, which one are you thinking is going to work for you? I think the black is just too dark. It's too heavy and it's just not quite the look I want. Um, the brown looks a lot more natural, like mm -hmm. the flagstone look that we're going for. So I think I'm going to go with the brown. Best method for this type of application is what's known as an HPLV, high pressure, low volume sprayer. You can buy these at any of the big box stores or a paint store, they're not that expensive. Runs off of compressed air somewhere in the 40 to 60 PSI range. You can dial in the type of mist you want, um, the intensity and the amount of material. It has a lot of control. It's much better than a pump up sprayer for this type of application. All right, we're about halfway done, and you can see the difference between what's been stained or highlighted and what hasn't. It's pretty dramatic. I'm going light here and subtle. If I want more highlights, I just put it down heavy or come back with a second coat. Now that we're done spraying the whole entire area, we've got highlights throughout the whole patio. This is optional. You can come back, a chip brush with a little bit of that same tint, and you can hand brush all the grout lines. Well, there you have it. We've wrapped up highlighting the stamped concrete patio. We basically took a solvent-based tint, mixed it with a solvent-based acrylic sealer, added some xylene to dilute it out to the desired color, pushed it through our high-pressure sprayer, creating the highlights. We then went back, used a chip brush if we wanted to, and highlighted all the grout lines. We've totally changed the look of this particular patio. So the next question is to see, is the homeowner happy with it? Stephanie. What do you think? Wow, I love it. It's totally changed the appearance of the orangey. I really like the highlights. Yeah, I think the brown was the right color to choose. It really, really looks good. And uh, you know, the bottom line is, are you happy? I am very happy. Excellent. Thank you so much. It was a so pleasure much. working with you. Everything we did here today is going to be highlighted at www.concretenetwork.com. Click on the technical tab and look for Sullivan's Corner. You'll see my picture there. You can also send me an email if you're looking for any more detailed instructions on what we did here, the products that were used. And so, with that in mind, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Sullivan's Corner.